What's going on my emulation friends? Today we are going to go over installing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on GameHub with online multiplayer access. So first things first, you're going to need to download this zip file and acquire yourself a copy of Modern Warfare 3. Any copy will do, preferably your own owned version from Steam. This copy is one acquired through other means, just to show that it does work. I do own the game, I do have a copy from Steam, but this is not that copy. So, first things first, you're going to need to acquire this zip file after you get the game here. And you're going to need to unzip it. Inside, you will find a README. I put this together with all the steps. Do not be intimidated by all these steps. They are fairly simple and not as lengthy as it seems. So, step one, acquire your copy of the game. Check. Done. Step two, inside what we just unzipped to get to this readme is a COD Modern Warfare 3 zip. It's going to have four files. You need to copy all of these inside the main folder of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So let's do that together. Unzip. Right here, all four of these need to go inside Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. You will have to overwrite one or two. That's fine. Overwrite them. Next step, copy the controller support folder. Same place. Goes into the game folder that we just put those other four files. This is going to give us controller support while we're playing the game. Alright, now we are going to open up GameHub. Doesn't matter what copy you're using, but we're going to add the game like we normally would. But when we add it, we're going to select Techno Modern Warfare 3 Client Launcher EXE. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this so we can do it together. All right, there's our client file. Going to select that, let it do its thing, confirm. Great. I'll go ahead and set it up as you normally would. These are the settings that I use personally. This is on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and Odin 2 Portal base device. Latest turnip. Leave DXVK alone, BKD3D alone, call it box 39. Important part, you will need gecko and you will need mono here. These are going to help the game run and give our container internet access. So when we launch the Techno Client Launcher, which gives us online multiplayer, it will be able to download files required. Now don't launch the game yet. You're going to need to go to PC settings and enter the desktop for the container. So we already did four, we did five, and we are on step six. Start the game container manually, navigate to your game folder, and launch the Techno Client Launcher. From there, it will give us instructions on what to do.
So let's do that. Here's my game folder. All the files have been copied over. And here's my Techno Modern Warfare 3 client launcher. You're going to get this pop up for the first time. You're going to hit OK. This is why we need a Gecko, and this is why we need a Mono for the game to run and for this to download what it needs. All right, we have a successful installation. Hit OK. Obviously, this is the first time we're running this, so hit OK. I'm going to just go ahead and enter Steve. Random name, not mine, but OK. Hit Save. Now, where are we at on the steps? All right, we're still still on six, so we need to hit multiplayer. It needs to patch game files. The game files that we copied, the four files in the beginning, are what this is going to patch, which is why we needed them. It will this will only work with those four files. So hit yes. You'll get a little dialog, patch, 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 done. Close this window. Done, great. This will automatically launch again. Now you can hit multiplayer, test the game launch, set up your graphic settings if you need or want to. All right, here's the game. Server list. Server list is online. We have a couple of rooms with players in them. Great. But our only issue right now is we don't currently have controller support, which is where the controller support folder comes into play. So now that we know the game's working, we're going to go back out. Now in the main game folder, we copied controller support open that folder. You're going to see three folders. These two contain controller profiles for Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Both of these will work for the game. Once you get in game, you will be able to play with a controller. So for right now, you're going to open up Anti-Micro X, open the bin folder, and launch Anti-Micro X. This whole time I have been using touch controls. So what you want to do here, we have no profile selected. Load a profile. Which will be those two folders we just spoke about. Controller support, these two right here. I'm going to select Modern Warfare 2, just my personal preference. Once you select it, immediately you will notice not only did it load in your settings change here on screen, but your right stick will now control the mouse. Nifty, right? Awesome. Go ahead and hit save once or twice to make sure that works. Come back here, multiplayer, launch the game. You will have to do this every time to play the game. Launch the container, launch Anti-Micro X, make sure your controls are working, then launch the multiplayer game. Just to show everything works here, they're going to join a server real quick. Now, at the end of this preview in-game, 
I'm going to show you how to set up a custom EXE that I created using a bat file to launch the game and anti micro X together straight from the game hub dashboard so you will not have to manually enter the container every time and launch each one individually you will be able to just launch it from game hub like normal and it will start both so here's our game everything works as intended This is using the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 profile for controls. So we're going to go ahead and leave the game. Yes, done. Quit. Yes. So we are done here. We're going to go ahead and back out of the game in the container. Confirm yes. Now back to our README. This is where 7 and what looks like 8 come into effect. So you're going to find this launcher exe file. This is the bat file I was telling you about that I created and converted into an exe for game hub to recognize for us to launch not only the game but anti micro x with it together from the game hub dashboard so we're going to copy this and also put it in the game folder like we did earlier with the other files and controller support folder so now Launcher EXE is in here. Go back to Game Hub. Under General, you'll see Startup File Path. We're going to change this so it doesn't start just the client launcher anymore. And there it is. Since we added it to the folder, it will now launch the custom EXE file. Now, when I launch the game from here in the dashboard, it's going to open the game and open Anti Micro X in the background. You can ignore that little black dialog, doesn't matter, but there's Anti Micro X in the background. So, my controller support is already working, that is moving with the right controller stick on my device there's touch control there's the profile working if you paid any attention to this the right trigger is your left mouse button so you can literally just right stick movement over in a multiplayer right trigger over top of it to launch the game and there you have it. Game launches with controller support. Use your joystick, server list, find the server. We'll just join this one again here. Capture the flag, Sea Town. All of the zip files will be included in links with this video and post. Okay, there I am in game. I'm still a spectator. Thank you. It looks like we're getting ready to change. There we go. Capture the flag. Capture the objective. We're getting a solid 60 FPS here in the game. Everything works great. 
go ahead hit start leave game exit make sure you exit this correctly each time or you will get a weird little dialogue every time you try to start the game again about not shutting it down correctly before once you get here go ahead cog exit confirm and you're done enjoy playing call of duty modern warfare 3 online guys